Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul if you're new here. I hope you're having a blessed day or night whenever you're watching this reading. We are here for a pop-up reading and today's pop-up is going to be all about um, essentially the purpose of the connection you have with your specific person. What your role in this connection is, what their role in this connection is, and what the overall purpose of the connection itself is, um, as well as what's going on underneath the surface and what's going to happen in the future, potentially, between the two of you. We're going to break this down into three different sections. Um, and I've pre-pulled the first three piles that we're going to go over. This first section here is going to be all about your person and what their role in your connection is, essentially. Then we're gonna hop into your role and purpose in this connection, followed by the overall purpose behind your connection itself. So we're going to go over three segments here to get us started. Um, depending on where we're at time-wise, I may also pull some additional info on their thoughts and feelings about you in the present moment, um, as well as possibly some channeled messages from them to you as well. We're going to see how things go time-wise. If I start um, going over time a little bit, I may hop into an extended, but we're just going to kind of go with the flow and see where things go as we go along here. All I know is right now we're going to go over the three main talking points and take it from there. So anyway, you guys, let's just hop right into it. Like I said, all of these cards here are representing your person's role in your connection, what their purpose is, why they're here, why you met this person, um, and what their overall role is in your connection, okay? Representing your person's role in the connection, we have the Earth Dragon, the Water Dragon, the Dead End, Death Cap with Endings. We also have the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Um, bear with me for one second, you guys. I have to go shut my door real quick. I will be right back. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Sorry, you guys. All right. So let's just hop right into it, okay? Because this is going to be a doozy. This is going to be a pretty intense and awfully specific message. And by the way, if this ends up resonating with you and you're new to the channel, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more readings in the future. Um, but let's hop into it, you guys. Representing your person um, and their role that they play here. We have passion, we have depth, we have connection, and also an initiation, okay? Your person's role in this connection is pretty cool, you guys. Uh, basically, what they're doing here is bringing light to the darkness. Um, it's giving me a lot of Piscean energy, if I'm being honest, because there's a lot of unconscious energy that's becoming conscious because of your person. Now, keep in mind, this is something essentially that they're meant to bring to you. Um, their role in this connection is what is helping you out on your own growth journey, on your own path. Um, it's what they're meant to do to help you along. This is a soul connection that you have with this person, and they were brought into your life with a greater purpose, okay? Um, um, one of their purposes is to bring things to light for you, to kind of wake you up in a way, to bring your unconscious energy um, and thoughts and patterns to the surface to become conscious and purged and healed, okay? Um, they're also meant to bring you some sort of um, financial freedom and security, okay? So another energy that's coming from this person is they are meant to be like a protector of yours. They're meant to help protect you, to also bring in financial stability and security, um, as well as kind of like igniting this great potential within you, this great power and potential with you. So it could be that this person is quite inspirational to you to continue along your career path or to take a new career path um, for your own financial stability and security. I don't think this person's role is to necessarily like bring you money or bring you that stability, although I do think that they assist with that or that is like a potential. I feel like it's almost as if they're helping you on your path to inspire you to create and cultivate your own financial and material plane stability, okay? Um, but their primary role in this connection, aside from the couple of things that we've already talked about, is to help you with ending something else, which I find to be very interesting. 
because we have endings and the dead end here. I feel like prior to meeting this person, you may have been stuck in a situation that wasn't getting you anywhere. Maybe you were hung up on an ex or you were hung up on another person or another situation. Could even just be a mindset, but there was definitely something that was not serving you. It was borderline toxic that you were hung up on, you were stuck on, that needed to come to an end. And it's almost like universe brought this person into your life to be that catalyst of ending that for you because you weren't doing it on your own, okay? For most of you out there, I feel like this is another relationship that we're talking about. Maybe you were having a difficult time getting over someone or getting over another relationship or leaving a toxic situation. This person was brought into your life as some sort of an initiation to get rid of that, to get rid of what was no longer serving you, that relationship or that mindset or you being stuck on another person. Um, this person came in to kind of wake you up universe brought them in to help you end that situation once and for all okay to kind of cut those ties to cut those cords and to help you set yourself free okay um, there's a lot about this person freeing you from invisible prisons so to speak okay um, again I feel like you were in a situation or you had a certain mindset that was kind of like um, like, like it was done and it was done a long time ago. It was meant to end a long time ago. It's kind of like beating a dead horse. Um, you were just going through the same roundabouts over and over and over again with this other person or this other situation. Um, and this person came into your life to kind of wake you up and show you that that situation needed to end, that it has to end, and it's time to move on with your life because there are bigger and better things out there for you, including this person, um, this new connection with them, okay? So um, it's interesting. This person is definitely a gift to you. The divine God, the universe brought them into your life with a purpose of helping you to let go to move on and to continue with your life. Like they're definitely an initiation. Um, maybe a lot of this was in your unconscious, okay? Maybe you are still um, unconsciously addicted to another relationship or another connection or something like that. You weren't aware of it even. Um, this person came along and it's like they're setting you free. They're waking you up. They're showing you that you can have something that's real and true and long lasting in this lifetime, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for your person. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into that energy as we go along. I'm going to pack this up for now. And we're going to start talking about you and your role in this connection for your person, essentially, okay? So keep in mind, that's why they were brought into your life. That's their role and purpose in your connection itself. We're going to talk about the same thing over here, but from you to your person. And bear with me, you guys, because you got a couple of extra cards, I think. So I need to kind of figure out how to lay this all out without it being too crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. And you guys, um, sometimes I live shuffle on my Patreon videos. I, I mostly live shuffle, but for YouTube, just for time saving purposes, I do usually like to get at least the first spread or two out um, before just because it takes a long time to shuffle, especially if we're doing multiple piles or multiple segments. Um, and you're also always welcome to give me your feedback on that. If you'd like me to do more live shuffle readings um, this style, drop a comment down below. Let me know. If you do like live shuffling, I do plenty of those um, in my car readings and my face-to-face -face readings. So if you've only ever seen this style of my reading before, hop over to my page and check out some of my face-to-face -face readings because I do a lot of live shuffling over there on those. But anyway, we're going to talk about you now. This is your role in this connection. This is your purpose, um, mostly for your person, what you're bringing to the table for them, the reason you were brought into their life, okay? Um, we have inspiration, we have insight, we have vitality, okay? You and one of your main roles in this connection is to help them wake up. You're, you're acting like an awakening catalyst for them, essentially. Um, a bolt of lightning to the psyche and the intellect. You are in this connection to help 
bring illumination, intelligence, diplomacy, okay? Um, it's kind of like you're also meant to be a rock and a stable presence for your person because that's what they've really needed in their life. Not only are you showing them a different side of life and existence, um, but you're also giving them something that they've always really wanted from a partner, but I don't think they've ever actually had before, okay? Um, your person has always desired like a long-term committed relationship, a stable rock, somebody who is going to be there for them through thick and thin, okay? Um, I, I also think that you're meant to show them and bring to the table what the essence of true love and commitment really is and to reveal the depths of what love can be. Um, this person has had their heart broken in past relationships, at least one past relationship, and they are truly desiring a long-term, permanent, long-lasting relationship with true love, something that is truly loving, um, that they know can, they can rely on and fall back on time and time again. Um, they tend to get a lot of anxiety in relationships from what I can see here, um, where it, like this person may have an anxious attachment or they may also have some sort of abandonment issues or something like that, where they are really, they've always been looking for a partner who is like a rock to them, somebody who is stable, who will always be there for them. They don't have to question their motives. They don't have to question whether or not they are loyal or devoted. They really just want a true and long lasting love. I don't think I even introduced the cards to you yet. So let me take a pause and do that real quick, you guys. Representing you in your role, we have the fox, the air dragon, the vow, the stone, dead man's fingers with timing, and the three of swords and the two of cups, okay? So sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> Um, again, I also think that one of your roles and purposes in this connection is to help them to wake up to certain spiritual realities, to kind of show them that divine timing is real, that soul connections are real, that there is in fact something deeper out there. This person has always been seeking out a deep soul level type of love. I don't know if they knew that's what they were looking for. Maybe they just labeled it as like their life partner. But what they've really always been seeking deep down is a deep, deep level of connection with another person, something that goes beyond just the physical and the 3D. They might have not known that though. Maybe they didn't know about soul connections. Um, before they met you or something like that. I do feel like you are showing that to them though. That's something that you are or will be bringing to the table to kind of show them that that's real, that there is something deeper than just a 3D connection in this reality. Um, and I also think that you're meant to kind of keep them in check a little bit. Could be that this person um, is a little bit more airy or go with the flow. They don't really like to... Um, um, like schedule things or something like that. Like I feel like your person is kind of just like going about their business, doing their thing. And you're also meant to bring them that stability because they need it. Not just romantic stability and stability in a relationship, but I do think that your person in general needs a grounding presence. Somebody that keeps them in check a little bit, maybe helps them with their time management and scheduling and stuff like that. Um, this isn't just about like divine timing. I think it's also about literal timing as well. Um, maybe waking this person up to like the preciousness of time in general and how li how short life is and how we need to savor every moment of that because um, it goes by really quickly. There's something also about like you being inspirational to this person to think about that too. So, but again, I think that your primary role in this connection um, is to show them that true love and real love does exist, that it's something that they can have because it's something that they've really wanted. They've really had their heart broken a lot in the past. Um, they, they've grieved. I feel like this person several times has believed that they've found their life partner and kind of like given their whole heart to that person. They've devoted themselves to that person, but that other person never really met them at that level and it's hurt them very deeply and there's something about you and your connection that's different um i feel like you are a very loyal devoted committed person to them and you were brought into their life to kind of like just for both of you and it's it's not just you bringing that to the table i feel like at your person's nature they are also a very loyal committed partner um they seem to need that a little bit more than you do um 
I don't know if that's accurate or not. I mean, of course, this is a general reading, so take it how it resonates. But it just seems like one of the reasons you were brought into their life was to give that to them. So maybe that's something they were seeking just a little bit more than you were for some reason. Maybe they just needed an extra dose of love because they've been very heartbroken, okay? Um, they might have a very watery energy to them where they could just be a very sensitive and emotional person and you are like grounding to them. You bring them back down to reality. You are stable for them and I think that's just something that they really need because they're very sensitive, okay? Whew, I'm winded. We are going to chat about um, the connection itself now. So this is this next section is going to be all about the purpose of the connection itself, aside from what we've already chatted about a little bit through each of these piles so far. So bear with me, guys. I gotta get all the cards. Okay. And I need to hold on a second. Get my take a drink. <laughs> All right. I think this pile got a couple of extra cards too. Yeah, so we'll have to figure out how to lay this all out. Just hold your horses with me for a second, you guys. Gonna make sure that everything's looking good and laid out good. Okay, perfect. Easier than I thought it would be. Okay. So again, remember that this is the role of the connection itself, the greater purpose of this connection in general, okay? Like what the connection is bringing to the table for both of you. So this is like a mutual mirrored energy, okay? All right. So we have the otter, the swan, the shaggy ink cap um, with growth and destruction cycle, Mycena Interrupta with Purpose and Judgment. We also have the Lovers, the Four of Pentacles, and the Thread. I think that this connection is meant to help both of you grow and progress. Um, and it's interesting because it's also bringing in a balance between love and important lessons to be learned. Um, it's a relationship that will be protected and guarded. And this has the potential to be your life partner, okay? Um, I, it's very interesting, okay? I, I think that it's, help, it's helping both of you to learn important and divinely timed lessons through continual purging and rising from the ashes, okay? Because we're talking about a growth and destruction cycle. So it's giving me Phoenix energy. I feel like this connection is always testing both of you. It's helping you to purge a lot as well. Um, I think that both of you have come into this connection with some unhealed wounds and some issues that, again, may have been like dormant in your unconscious that neither one of you were aware of. And I think that it's helping you to kind of bring those to light, wake you up to them, and continually purge what is no longer serving you so that you can continue to grow and rise from those ashes like a phoenix being reborn over and over again. It's almost like this connection is going to have that continue to happen throughout the whole time that you two are together. It's not going to stop. I don't think that, you know, it might get a little bit less intense. I feel like during the early stages, the first few months or years or whatever, it's going to be very intense and it might almost be um, like a lot to handle for both of you. I do think that it is going to mellow out a little bit over time, uh, but it, this is a really high level soul connection that's meant to help both of you heal on a major level, okay? But it's not just about that. It's not just about growth and healing, okay? This person and you are not simply just like catalysts for each other for healing. There's also meant to be a lot of playfulness that comes from this connection and love and devotion, okay? I think that when it comes to like the important lessons you're learning with each other, there is a serious undertone, but there's a proper balance of also also like youthfulness, playfulness, and fun that comes from this, okay? It's almost like one day the two of you are like jamming out to music, having fun, enjoying yourselves, and then the very next moment, boom, here comes an important spiritual lesson for both of you to learn or something like that. And it might feel reminiscent of like a hot and cold energy because of that, but it's really not. Um, it's not actually hot and cold energy. It's not like one day you love each other, the next day you hate each other. It's more like one day you get to embrace this deeply loving, mushy type of love 
um, that's very playful and innocent and joyful. And then the next moment, like you just have to learn a lesson, okay? Because this person came into your life for a reason and you came into their life for a reason. So it's not really like it's hot and cold. It's more like just incredibly like polar opposites okay I don't know how to explain this to you one day it's playful loving deep and pure and I don't think that energy goes away but you know the next day you might have to learn an intense lesson with each other and then it goes back to this again okay so it's not in cold it's just like the nature of the dynamic that the two of you share and again if you believe in the concept of soul connections and soul contracts both of you knew that this was for your highest good so therefore you signed up for it Maybe both of you are a little bit sensitive too. I do think that both of you have been looking for your life partner, somebody that you're going to be with long term. Um, and so you're getting that in this connection because it seems like this is going to be a connection that stands the test of time. But again, there's almost like a price to be paid. You don't just get to have your fairy tale romance. It's also helping you to grow and level up on a soul and personal level, okay? I think that it connects you to the spiritual realm. Um, there's something very higher. There, There's something much higher in this connection than just like a 3D quick fling or something like that. And I think it's important for you to know that, both of you, okay? Um, it really does connect you to the divine. And I, I think that it's helping both of you to realize that, that there is something deeper out there for you both. Um, and again, if I haven't made it clear enough yet, I do think that this person is meant to be your life partner, somebody that you're with long term, at the very least. Um, they could be your divine counterpart. I am picking up on a more, like it's it definitely, they could definitely be your soulmate or your twin flame, um, depending on how it resonates with your situation. It just seems like they're a huge catalyst for you. And this is something that goes much more, it goes beyond surface, surface level, <laughs> superficial connection. Okay. There's like a much higher purpose behind meeting this person. Okay. Love and devotion that will stand and the stand the test of time and last a lifetime. I'm getting a little choked up right now, you guys. I don't know why that is. Um, maybe both of you are a little bit overwhelmed. That's one thing that it could be. Both of you could be very overwhelmed by the intensity. And I, again, I think it could get really confusing for both of you. One minute, you're like having a lot of fun. Everything's good to go. You're playful. You're being almost like giddy and cute with each other. And then the next minute, it's like, boom, major life lesson comes in. And you're like, where did that come from? <laughs> and it's not going to stop. It continues. Um, I also think that both of you intend on holding on to this connection, okay? You're not letting it go anytime soon. It's something that's going to last for a long time. And I do think that the divine is protecting this connection as well. It's something that's very guarded, protected, um, and meant to be for you. So again, could be your divine counterpart. All right, you guys, we are, <laughs> we've unpacked a lot so far in this reading. I'm going to start packing this up real quickly, and then I am going to see what I'm guided to do, because we're already at 23 minutes. Yeah. I try to keep my readings at about a half hour-ish. So, what I think I'm going to do next is, let me see, I'm looking over to see what, what I'm feeling drawn to. Bear with me. I will cut and edit the video if I have to. I just need a second, you guys. I'm not feeling drawn to any particular decks. That's the interesting thing here. Hmm. interesting all right you guys well I think what I'm gonna do is get out some channeled messages from your person and then I'm gonna um, cleanse the energy real quickly I'm going to we'll cleanse my energy a little bit and kind of have a bit of a reset and then I think I'm going to do an extended that talks about their current thoughts and feelings about you so if you're interested in that I will put a link in the pinned comment and the um, the description box of this video so you can check that out over on patreon if you want if you do join us on patreon you will also get access to all of my other extended readings and patreon exclusive readings too so we are going to get some messages from them then i will get you a message out from the universe and i'm going to do that extended so hopefully i will see some of you guys over there okay interesting 
What else would this person have to say right now, please? Okay, so first up we have, I am recovering. I am in a committed relationship. I don't know what comes next. Let's get out one more message from this deck if I can. Otherwise, we're gonna hop into a different deck depending. Okay. <laughs> That is funny because one of your roles in this connection is to literally bring like intelligence to this table. I feel like you are very smart and this person knows that, okay? You're a very intelligent individual and that is actually one of your roles in this connection is, that we already talked about is for you to bring that to the table um, because it helps this person to wake up a little bit. I don't know what comes next, okay? So you could be in a relationship with this person. I feel like this is confirmation for those of you out there who are in a relationship with them that they are very committed to you. Um, I'm not getting any type of third party from this connection. They could be, take it how it resonates for your situation. Um, they're healing. They're committed to you at heart. They um, might be a little bit uncertain of where things are going with you at this time. I think that that is, again, playing on their insecurities because they've been abandoned by partners in the past or maybe they're always kind of on their toes because they've never had a stable grounded partner before um, and so they they always go into relationships with this energy of unpredictability and fear over that um, so just be aware that's something that they're they're healing and one of the things you're meant to do for them in this lifetime is to show them that they can have a stable partner um, and then again, your your intelligence, your, the way your mind works is fascinating to this person. It absolutely is fascinating to them. Okay, let's get a few more messages out. That's interesting that we have this falling on top of that too. I'm becoming a better person. Yeah, they want you to know that like you're very inspirational to them to be the best version of themselves that they can be. So many things remind me of you. Yeah. Maybe they're starting to see synchronicities and stuff, and that was something that they they didn't even know was a thing before. Doesn't surprise me. It tends to happen when we go when we enter into like um, higher level soul connections. Usually, the divine does start communicating about them to us through angel numbers, other signs, other synchronicities. Um, so maybe they're starting to notice that. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. They seem to be aware of the fact that you are helping them on a personal and spiritual level too. And they want you to know that. That they know that this connection is very transformative and it's helping them a lot. <laughs> like that's such an understatement. Let's get a few more uh, messages out from them to you. Okay. I've listened to songs that remind me of you today. Yeah, so maybe one of the synchronicities is music. That could be another potential, is that maybe um, there's something about like a musical connection that the two of you share that is important to them. Um, like maybe there are certain synchronistic songs that the two of you share, like you just happened to hear them every time you're together or... Um, I don't know, it's very interesting. On, on my level, on a personal level... Um, their audience is one of my strongest psychic gifts and so my divine team uses music a lot to communicate with me about people um so i wouldn't be surprised if music is one of yours as well that that's a synchronicity that you're waking this person up to or something like that i'm looking for answers yeah this person is in like seeking mode i think that again the way your mind works the way you view the world the way you view this is helping them to wake up to things that they had never seen before Again, it seems like one of your roles in this connection is to um, show them the spiritual nature and of life, of existence, um, and that there's more than meets the eye, okay? You are my everything. This person feels very, very strongly about you. They definitely want long-term commitment with you. Um, they want this to stand the test of time for sure that's what they want not just because they're seeking like a long-term stable partner but just because they they see that within you and they don't want to let that go okay i only want you yeah this person knows it okay there's no doubt in their mind that they want to be with you long term um that they see something so different about this connection in every possible way and they want you to know that they're not interested in being with anybody else so, all right, you guys, we're going to do tiles and charms next and zodiac dice.
to help you get some additional information and confirm that this is your reading. Although if it's been resonating so far, please claim whatever messages have been resonating with you. Definitely found you for a reason. We're gonna start with the Zodiac dice. This could be their big three or your big three as in sun, moon, or rising sign. Okay, we have Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Pisces, and one more. Aries again, okay, so one more. <laughs> Libra, perfect. All right, let's do some tiles. This could spell out their name or initials, yours or important words to this connection. Q, this person could have a question for you that came out very quickly um, on its own over there. This person might have an important question to ask you, I'm feeling called to say. Okay, they could also find you to be very cute. Maybe you're a cutie pie to them or something like that, or they are to you. That is a blank. We have an N, another blank, Y, uh, a, P, T. Somebody's name could be like Nat or Natalie. Somebody could really like to take naps in this connection. Um, we have two blanks coming out, so maybe there's like, you're a little bit mysterious to, to each other. Um, there's an element of mystery to both of you. You're still in the process of discovering things with each other. And again, I don't think that's ever going to stop. I think that that's one of the roles of this connection. We also have another A coming out here. AA, maybe sobriety is important in this connection. Somebody could be sober or a member of AA, or um, that's something that both of you are meant to experience in this connection. We have a pink flower coming out here. We also have a, a Christmas wreath, a cross. We have an angel that says made for an angel. That's interesting. We also have like a high heel shoe coming out here and a swan, oh beautiful, with its wings open. Okay, so first of all, I think there's a, an element of playfulness and sweetness that's meant to be experienced by both of you here. This person could really like the way that you dress or maybe you like the way that they dress, especially if someone in this connection wears high heel shoes, that could be something that one or both of you really like about each other. Um, there's definitely something divinely orchestrated around this connection. Could be possible that maybe around the Christmas time or holiday season, something significant is going to happen because we have that wreath coming out here, or maybe that's when you met this person. And then, you guys, the most beautiful part of this whole reading is the swan with its wings open. And we had swans coming out for your connection, too. This tells me that this is meant for both of you to truly learn how to open your hearts to love and actually embrace it, and that both of you are ready for that, or you are getting ready to be ready to open your heart fully and open your arms to this love without fear or holding anything back. Excuse the noise in the background, you guys. We're getting ready to wrap this reading up anyway. I'm going to get you your messages from the universe, and then I'm going to start over with the extended. And again, during the extended, we are going to go over their current thoughts and feelings about you, aside from what we've already gotten out here, since I didn't have time to do that spread earlier. So if you would like to join us, again, that info is down below. I am also running another free reading giveaway on the channel. So if you missed the first round of that, um, last time it was a subscribers giveaway. So all of my subscribers were entered for a chance. Um, this time it's a members only giveaway. So if you want a chance to win a free reading with me, all you have to do is become a member of the channel and comment in my videos. And I will be releasing the winner of that on September 19th. Okay. And I do plan on doing these free reading giveaways on a regular basis. So next time around after this one, it will be uh, for the general subscriber pool. So don't forget to subscribe. And if you want a chance to win a free reading with me, join the membership. The bonus of that too is that your chances of winning are a lot higher because the pool is much smaller for the members only versus general subscribers so there's an extra initiative and you also get access to exclusive readings when you become a member of the channel and all of my past live streams too that's another bonus of it so anyway your messages focus on what is important to you don't give your time or energy to your worries as this would only amplify them Focus on what matters to you most. With every thought, you are creating your future. No act of kindness is ever wasted. Some of the kindest people you will ever meet have been through hell and back themselves. 
that strengthens their compassion and empathy. If this is describing you, keep being the beautiful soul that you are. And then here is your butterfly. We are going to end your reading with an affirmation. If you've made it this far, drop a butterfly emoji to let me know that you've made it. If you would like to claim this affirmation, read it out loud with me, or you can also comment that down below. Today's affirmation is simple. Everything is going to be okay. And yes, it is. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. For those of you who are hopping over to the extended, I will see you over there. For those of you who are leaving right now, I hope to see you around the channel again. Bye for now.